Hi friends, I am Dr. Swapna Chakri from Hyderabad Women and Fertility Center. Welcome to my channel. So today let us discuss about NIPT and amniocentesis during pregnancy and its importance and its interpretation as well. So basically in pregnancy around 12 to 13 weeks we do a NT scan. So in NT scan we usually check for the nasal bone, presence of nasal bone and nuchal thickness. If at all if the values are elevated then they give as high risk report in double marker test. So when we get a high risk report we usually advise a couple to go either for NIPT or amniocentesis. NIPT is a non-invasive test where the maternal blood is drawn and uh, in the blood no actually after 10 weeks of pregnancy in the maternal blood fetal cell free DNA will be floating. So that fetal cell free DNA will be isolated from the maternal blood and they are exposed for the genetic testing. So in that test we will come to know whether the baby is high risk for Down syndrome that it's nothing but trisomy 21 whether the baby is high risk or a low risk. If at all again in that report if they say it's a low risk yeah continue the pregnancy. If at all, if there is any doubt, even in NIPT test, then we usually advise for amniocentesis. Of course, amniocentesis is an invasive test, but you need not worry, it's a quite safe procedure, nothing to worry at all. It's usually done around 16 weeks of pregnancy. So, in amniocentesis, they give local anesthesia at the site of insertion of the needle, and under ultrasound guidance, a long needle is passed into the amniotic sac where the amniotic fluid all around the baby, a little bit part of the amniotic fluid is taken out and that fluid is exposed for the microarray test. So in microarray, they usually check for micro deletion and micro duplication as well. So in this test, we will come to know whether the baby is having a trisomy 21, which is nothing but Down syndrome or whether the baby is having any autism or uh, any neurodevelopmental delay or any learning disabilities and uh, all the problems related to the brain, they can be detected in amniocentesis. So based on the report, you can take a decision. We usually give the uh, couple only a choice uh, so that they can take a decision whether to continue pregnancy or not. Uh, if, even if in amniocentesis it comes as high risk category, then better not to continue the pregnancy and it's a safe to go for the termination of pregnancy. Uh, so friends, uh, in this video, uh, we just discussed about uh, what is NIPT, how it is done and uh, what is amniocentesis, how is it done and uh, what all problems can be detected with the help of amniocentesis. And if you uh, find it's informative, please like my video and share with your friends and needy people. Thank you.